All Signs Collective. I'm here for a reading for all signs today. You could be any zodiac sign. It's general and timeless, past, present, or future. So just take what resonates with you. And if you would like a personal reading, one-on-one -on -one personal session, or Akashic Records, you can go to 144bluerosetemple.com or you can email me. All that information is in the box below. And as always, thank you for your love. Thank you for all of your support. And thank you for being here today. If my energy or my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe, click on that notification bell and the like button so I can connect more with your energy in the readings and so you can know when the next reading does come out. Now, we did have Tower Red that was on the bottom of the deck. Tower Red can resonate with you. Now, as I was driving, I was receiving this message for all signs and the song I'm getting ready came on uh, as soon as I was receiving this channel's message. You have walked through that valley of the shadow of death, okay? But what I'm really seeing is Anubis. For some of you, Anubis is one of your spirit guides. I'm seeing Anubis lead you, you know, they say like, you know, when it came to uh, Egyptian comedic um, history and mythology that Anubis would lead those through the underworld, through those initiations. What I'm seeing is that you've been very protected this whole time. Uh, and for some of you, Anubis or maybe a similar spirit guide has been leading you through some sort of time in your life where you are releasing a lot of karmic cycles. You are really being divinely tested. And that's what I'm hearing, divinely tested. But I'm also seeing the scales of Ma'at, okay? I just saw a scale in my head. You've passed the test. Okay, and I do feel like spirit purposefully kind of, you know, brought you through this portal of releasing karmic cycles and being divinely tested, um, you know, of would you remain in your higher heart space? Would you remain in your God consciousness, your Christ consciousness or your higher consciousness? Now, what I'm hearing is that you passed the test. Your spirit team is very proud of you and you're coming into a brand new cycle. There's a whole lot of light on the other side. Some of you may really resonate with Egypt because I'm also seeing Horus at the end of that and confirmation that you're in a new cycle. All right, Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, what do we have for the collective for this reading? They passed... past the test collective we do have wait okay so there's some essence of waiting or time wait fortune ganisha okay ganisha is the remover of all obstacles you do have fortune here as well um so there definitely obstacles have been removed there's a lot of fortune or just the energy of fortune that surrounds you what do we have for this reading for the collective the collective has passed the test of the collective passing the test you have new beginnings and then you do have tell the truth over here mary magdalene sacred marriage okay mary magdalene may resonate with you hod or persephone i'm also seeing the kabbalah some of you use the kabbalah now it could be the comedic tree of life as far as the egyptian energy or it could be the actual kabbalah so either one take what resonates with you what is one more message for the collective for they have passed the test. Tell the truth in new beginnings. Look at you almost walking through this portal. Does this say portal? Yes, it does. Confirmation. You're walking through this portal, collective. The mirror right over here. Okay, now it does say other lives, past lives, and dimensional lives. You have been releasing a lot of karmic debt from other lifetimes. Okay, so that's why there were a lot of things happening at once. You're about to take a leap, okay, over here. A little bit of the full card energy. So there definitely is this new beginning over here. After a time of being divinely tested, you know, but beyond even being divinely tested, this was a opportunity. This was a portal of you releasing karmic debt so that you can, you can ascend, so that you can move forward into this new timeline. All right, Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, why do we have the mirror? Tell the truth and new beginnings. What I am seeing is you doing well over here. And then conflict coming in. Eight of Wands. Something coming in after the conflict. Why the Nine of Pentacles? Why the Five of Wands? Why the Eight of Wands? This is also Uranus and Taurus. Yes. Okay. Interesting energy. Queen of Swords over here. You definitely passed the test over here, collective. Now, it's a little bit of the Uranus and Taurus energy, which I believe, it may not be, but I believe that Uranus and Taurus is going on until 2027. 
You were doing well. You were doing fine over here. Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles in your power. You feel financially secure, wealthy. Things are going fine. And then there was conflict with either a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or with your finances. And that's why I'm saying that this is a little bit of the Uranus and Taurus collective energy. It shook things up for you. But what I am feeling is a past life of you having some sort of power and wealth, but not learning certain lessons when it came to money, power and wealth. This was not you, you know, I could say it's you being divinely tested, but what really is coming through is that on a soul level, I'm feeling Kelly Ma energy as well, which Kelly Ma loves you on a soul level through all time, spaces and dimensions. And so on a soul level, there were certain lessons with money that you did not quite master in other lifetimes or other lifetimes. You may have been a king or a queen or have this money or whatever it was, but there were certain lessons that you did not quite master. Now you've been in this portal, could be Uranus and Taurus, you know, whatever resonates with you. But you've been in this portal of releasing karmic debt when it came to money lessons. You didn't do anything wrong, you know, and so some of you are like, why am I being spiritually attacked with my finances, this, that? It's from another lifetime. And there's certain karmic debt that you had to clear. And it's never personal. You could be a very good person in this lifetime. And in the other lifetime, there was, say you had a lot of money, but you didn't learn certain lessons. Um, nothing's being taken from you. You know, it's, this is very temporary. Okay. Um, and it was meant to teach you now it's all coming back around and I get a lot of chills as I say that it kind of makes me a little bit emotional. It's coming back around. Um, oh my gosh. Wow. They're ringing in my ear and the tears in my eyes. I've been ringing in this year. A Pi I had a Pisces reading. The ringing was in this year. Now it's in this year. It's coming back around. You didn't lose out. This is temporary. God is restoring your faith. God is also restoring these finances. It's not that you were being spiritually attacked or that you did something wrong. Confirmation, I'm getting a call. God wanted you to answer the call. You have a past life of wealth and power. And you still have that but you're meant to use it for service. You're meant to use it for the new age of Aquarius. You're meant to use it for the collective. You're meant to use it for God's will. Eight of wands with the star card. Star card is the Aquarius energy, but it also represents service, divine service, new age of Aquarius. What's this past life energy for the collective? What is this past life energy for the collective? We do have trees. It's interesting because I was looking at the tree out there. So trees can mean something to you. Also represents though a strong, sturdy foundation is what I'm feeling. So this soul growth is financially was not so great temporarily for whatever months, year, whatever it was for you in time. And so that's why spirit's saying, wait, there's things coming in for you. On a soul level, you're creating and establishing this strong foundation for this wealth to really come in for you, to maintain it, to multiply it. Now, authority figures in a past life, you were an authority figure. You were a king, a queen, something along those lines. You were, and you are royalty, but it does feel like in this past life, you were used to having money, which is why spirit kind of shook things up a little bit. Again, not to put you through punishment, but on a soul level, Spirit really wants you to multiply, to maintain this wealth, this abundance, this power for service uh, to others, for service to the earth, for the new age of Aquarius. Okay, your purpose is bigger is what I'm hearing. A little bit, you know, the song Beyonce, bigger. Your part is something way bigger. You know, uh, spending, using, um, receiving money with conscious intention. All right, bottom of the deck is transportation. Now, why do we have the Ace of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles here? King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius. Why King of Pentacles with the Five of Wands? Why the Star card with the Eight of Wands? You're getting ready to see something you've never seen, Collective. 
uh, confirmation because I just got a message and it's 1 2 3 p.m. Okay, so the number 1 2 3, it's coming in for you, collective. Four of Wands, celebration, reunions, homecoming, surprises, feeling welcome, community or family coming together. In this past life, again, you, you were an authority figure. You were of power. You had a lot of wealth. Your wealth is to be shared. Your wealth is to be used very consciously and intentionally. And not that you can't get yourself nice things, 33 seconds to, you know, definitely treat yourself, self-love, all of those different things. But God has a really big plan for you. And the money it is that is given to you and that you acquire in this lifetime. And not all of it is just for you is what's coming through. You're meant to share it with others. I'm getting humanitarian. Some of you are a humanitarian. Maybe you have a nonprofit. I'm also hearing off grid. You're meant to start some sort of community or you're meant to kind of um, use it to create a community in some way, shape or form. Three of pentacles over here. I had three of wands rather. Why the three of wands? As you move away from this, it says forward planning and moving forward. You're putting these karmic situations with money that you've been through aside and you are planning a new future. And it's going to be different from how you were previously living or what you previously envisioned. But I do feel like God has also kind of shook things up financially for you, for you to adjust your vision for clarity. Now, it does say also satisfaction with choices, results, reward for hard work, wheel of fortune. You are going to be rewarded for this collective. All right. Now, why the star card, eight of wands and the four of wands here? Yeah, you're meant to uh, do some sort of work that has to do with light work, that has to do maybe even with spirituality, community humanitarian all right i'm seeing you really give back and i am seeing your money being replaced it's just being replaced in a different way all right or the star card here it's being replaced in a different way because uh, whether it's say so contracts in your akashic records god your spirit team there's plans for this money you're going to be very provided for. You are fully funded by the divine, okay? Fully funded by the divine. But with that, every penny is spent, is received intentionally and consciously, which again, doesn't mean that you don't get yourself nice things, you don't treat yourself and things like that. But there's a so contract in your Akashic records of like you using your wealth to also do something good for people around you or the community in some way, shape or form. All right. And that's a little bit of like your karmic debt here of uh, having a lifetime of a lot of power. And then here you can still have that. Um, also by Beyonce, pure honey. Um, you could be both meet in the middle, dance all night. OK, and so you can be both. You can be a humanitarian and come across a lot of abundance or have a lot of abundance. You don't need to choose between the two, but there has to be both is what's coming through. Okay, you're definitely a part of something big here. There's some sort of big project that you help with that you build that you create, it has something to do with human, you know, like being a humanitarian community or service. All right, now what is this ace of pentacles for the star card? What is this ace of pentacles for the star card? Yeah, just wait to be patient because things are coming in for you. Now we do have knight of pentacles over here, which is routine and knight of cups. So you may have not seen it yet. You don't know how it's going to come in, but it is coming in for you. Why knight of pentacles with the knight of cups? You do have the eight of cups here. Okay, this is walking away, etc. All right. Now some of you are walking away. What is the eight of cups here? Why eight of cups with the six of pentacles? Okay, you do have ace of cups over here. Okay, that is what I'm seeing is that for some of you, Pi not Pisces, collective, but we do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. What's actually going to speed this up and bring things in? For you, bring in all that you have Ace of Cups. Get ready for overflow with the Ace of Cups energy. But it's through charity and giving. 
that is how your cup overflows. And again, that's also not Aries, Libra, South Node, North Node. Aries, North Node is about I. Aries is ruled by the ego. There's a balance. And that's what's coming through is you don't have to give it all away. Not at all. You know, you don't have to prove that you're a good person by doing that. But there's also a balance of the two. Okay, and I don't feel that even if you didn't do that in this lifetime, in another lifetime, what I am seeing is a lot of power and wealth. And that was just kind of like, you know, it was for you, um, which again, it's not bad, you know, but in this lifetime, you're going to bring that karmic debt to a balance by giving, uh, by doing something nonprofit, humanitarian, of service, whatever it is, you're giving back in some way, shape, or form. Okay, for some of you with the Knight of Pentacles over here, the reason why money slowed down for you is because this is what you're meant to be doing. And as soon as you start this nonprofit, this charity, this service, even if it's just you starting your light work, your cup is going to overflow, and that's what it's showing here. Why Ace of Cups? Why Ace of Cups here? Now, there is some sort of like protecting yourself over here. Why the Seven of Wands with the Nine of Cups? Why this Emperor? Oh. Hmm. Ten of Cups. Family. Why Ten of Cups with the Emperor? Heavy Father energy. Three of Cups over here. For some of you, you know that you're meant to do this and there's a father energy surrounding you. It could be your actual father. It could also be a husband. Just masculine energy in general. Masculine energy can still be women. Okay, so just... Keep that in mind. There's a masculine energy here, heavy on the father energy, especially for the Ten of Cups and the Emperor card. This person's a third party, okay? Uh, you're dealing with someone who kind of against what you're doing. Why the Three of Cups here with the Ten of Cups and the Emperor card? Four of Swords over here in reverse. Why Four of Swords in reverse? This is either a marriage couple. This is a marriage couple or this is like your mother or father. We have the Empress card here. And now we have an Emperor and Empress. It's either your partner or your mother or father that does not agree with what you do. The Four of Swords in reverse, it says looking for spiritual strength, awakening, rejoining the world. Now, there's definitely though someone who kind of wanted to stray you away from this. Where is the collective's energy in this reading? You have a choice, okay? Two of Wands. You are trying to do something new. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to move into this new cycle, this new um, timeline. Why the Two of Wands for the collective's energy in this reading? Page of Cups. Why Two of Wands with the Page of Cups? Why the Tower card? Why the Tower card with the Nine of Swords? Now, for some of you, there's someone in your energetic field. It can, again, it could be your own parent. It could be a co-parent of yours. Or it could be a lover, past lover. So just take it as it resonates. Heavy on the Sagittarius energy. Heavy Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. And then we, now we have a Queen of Pentacles as well. This person was trying to get in the way of what it is that you're doing. Tower card, nine of swords, seven of cups. This person is trying to create confusion in your life. Again, this is a family member or it's a previous lover or past lover of yours. They're trying to say that you're delusional in what you're thinking. Meanwhile, you're going through a spiritual awakening. You are actually being very led by the divine. They're trying to say, I don't know why I'm hearing, they're trying to say you're crazy. They're trying to say that you're delusional, that you're this, that you're that. And this is them trying to keep you away from what your purpose actually is. All right. 
just remember to be grounded in this as well. I do see a lot of sudden shifts. Uh, for some of you, it's as simple as like, oh, you're in a fantasy world. What do you think you're doing? You can't live in this world like that, blah, 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 you know? And so it is though a balance of making sure you have what you need for yourself, your home, your family. Again, Aries North Node, Libra South Node. Make sure you have what you need. You don't have to give your whole life and self away. There's a balance. But this person is trying to really talk down and, and do certain things to make you feel confused, to make you feel kind of like you're crazy or you're delusional. Why Queen of Pentacles with the Temperance card? Page of Swords over here. Now it does say peace, patience, moderation. This person does not believe in what you're doing, okay? They don't believe that you're going to be successful. They're really trying to talk you down and out of what it is that God is leading you to do. However... Uh, I do feel like that card weight as well as the fact that you are going to do it, okay? So to protect yourself here collective, make sure that you do what you say you're going to do. So if you have all these plans, have a grounded action plan. Take the aligned action of not just like, say, telling your partner, your ex-partner, you know, or your family of like, God told me to do this, but then nothing is happening. Do it. Do it right in front of their face, okay? Because what's coming through is it is gonna happen. Now, it will take time. So in the meantime, they're gonna think that, you know, you're whatever, delusional, um, but make it happen, okay? Faith plus works is magic. Faith without works is delusion. So don't prove them right. Put in the work, do the aligned action, and make it happen right in front of their face, okay? Now... What is this person's energy towards the collective? Two of Cups, Two of Swords. Again, it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're thinking, uh, that you're thinking of, you know, or that's thinking of you. Two of Cups with the Two of Swords over here. This person feels like you're trapped. This person feels like you don't really kind of know what you're doing over here too. This person feels like they have to make a decision about you, all right? And it's based off of, though, what's interesting is it's based off of what you're going through here. So there have been financial changes, and then you are changing your life. You're going through a big spiritual awakening. Because you're going this, through this awakening, your family member, your ex-partner, or your current partner is kind of shifting the way that they feel about you. Why two of swords with the hangman? Confirmation, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Heavy on the Sagittarius energy. They don't feel like you're grounded enough is what's coming through. All right. But the thing is, God is leading you to do this. And I'm actually seeing that it's very successful. This person's not patient enough. This person is someone who wants to see like logical results right away. And what I will tell you collective is have the results. All right, again, faith plus works is magic. Faith without works is delusion. So prove this person wrong. You do have the power to prove them wrong, but do it, okay? Uh, now, what's the advice for the collective here? Be strong because this person's trying to have a hold on you, five of swords energy. Uh, and they do think you're a little bit of the fool card over here, the fool that's gonna fall off of the cliff. However, the fool card is being very divinely guided. So it looks like they're falling off a cliff, but they're not gonna fall off the cliff. Strength card with the five of swords over here. Uh, you are gonna have to walk away from this person. This person wants to control you in some way, shape or form. You know, and again, you're going through a spiritual awakening, but your partner or your family member here is just not where you are at on a, you know, an ascension level. And um, you're going to have to walk away from this person. They no longer see you. All right. That's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. Death. Okay. Spiritual awakening. Definitely a death and rebirth here. And a changing to the connection. We do have sacred marriage. So it definitely could be like marriage or a relationship. What's the advice for the collective for this reading? What is the advice for the collective for this reading? You made a wise decision by walking away. And guess what? You're going to be so successful. Sweet success over here. You know, this person is not patient enough. I don't see it happening overnight here, collective, but I will say the advice strongly here is to actually make it happen and you will prove them wrong, okay? Earth magic over here. Your faith plus your works is your magic. What is some other advice for this reading for the collective? Victory is here. Kick defeat out the door. God's doing a new thing. Get ready for overflow. Victory.
victory elohim okay so you have a big win here you have big victory but this person definitely was not meant to come with you on this journey all right what's a final message for the collective a final message for the collective here stand in your truth the holy spirit expect a miracle i'm getting a little bit of the joseph energy where like everyone around joseph was like what is joseph doing blah 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 blah, blah. and then it happened and then it manifested for Joseph and it happened in front of their face. Okay, so we have expect miracles. Remember, only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Voice of truth, stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution from these people and these energies and speak your truth and stand in it and make it happen collective. Okay, that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings to your day.